Today's theme is don't go rogue. What do I mean by that? Stay tuned after this. Hey everybody, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist of Unreduce Multimedia. And I guess you could consider this a part three of the communication process. Because communication is really key when running your business. And being a business owner, I understand that other business owners don't always like to explain things or uh, or they just, it just slips their mind. Let's just, just just say that. It slips their mind. It's not like they're trying to intentionally hold stuff back, but it happens. And it shouldn't. And what do I mean by that? At the top of this video, I mentioned the term or the phrase, don't go rogue. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, a lot of this stuff stems from lessons learned during my time in recovery and uh, in the hospital after f having a stroke. I know if you're listening to this, the, the third one in a row here, you're probably getting sick of hearing that, but if there wasn't more of a come to Jesus moment than that, I don't know what to tell you. So you're gonna have to bear with me because these are some of the things that came to light. What do I mean by don't go rogue? One of, one of my uh, probably good qualities as well as bad qualities is the fact that I like to be helpful. I don't like to put things on people's plate when they're busy as hell. And, and I can just be like, well, I can handle that. Okay. That, like I said, that has its good and it's bad. It's good that you want to be helpful and it's good you don't want to like put more on people's plate. It's bad because number one, it's their job to take on that stuff. And number two, it's not your job. And so what I'm gonna go into more of more of an explanation of <laughs> what happened. So one of the things that I would do is there was a certain client that I would work with. It was very, I would say, it wasn't a difficult project. It could be done with one person. It's very, it was logistically uh, maybe a little bit more difficult than normal because of the multiple places it have to be, but the, the, the implementation of the project is, wasn't, wasn't uh, difficult. So, so it was something that I was, I was planning on doing. I was setting things up, I had communication out. One of, the, one of the bad things about that was that my team had no idea that this was on the plate. And if you watched the previous episode about process and and making sure that you have a pipeline going and people know what's going on in the pipeline. I didn't have that in the pipeline because I was like, oh, this is on me, it's fine, I'm good. Okay, it's all good and it's on you and it's fine until the moment that you can't do it. And if you can't do it, who's gonna pick up that slack? And that's exactly what happened. And that's what I mean by don't go rogue is the fact of the matter is you don't have side projects that your team may have to pull, pull together and do with when you are not available to do it. They can't not know about it. They can't, um, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I also mentioned a friend came in and was taking over for me just trying to manage all the projects and he he saw something or he went through my emails and asked my team while I was gone I was in the hospital recovering who, who and what is this and uh, both of my teammates looked at each other looked at them and said no clue don't know anything about it so he had to backtrack and start building that out and making sure that happened did we did we finish that job 
Yes. Did we do, make it on time? Yes. We did everything we were supposed to after the fact, and I was included in that because I was, I was, that was the first thing I, I was doing right after I came back from um, recovery and therapy and such. But I learned my lesson big time in the simple fact that is like, I can't put the people that I'm entrusting while I'm gone in a situation where I'm setting them up to fail because they won't feel good about it. They're gonna feel like, dude, um, I don't know how I can make this better or how I can make this fit into this already packed schedule we already have. So once again, like I said, I, I, it seems like this is a part three to the communication process, but this is a big one because the simple fact is, is like, it's okay to help and it's okay to be helpful. However, not to the detriment of your team, the, comp the reputation of the company, because that could have been really bad. Um, because we agreed, we made an agreement, we had things set, we had multiple people that we had to interview, multiple locations that we had to be, and that could have just blown up. Uh, and a date, we had a, we had a due date of when this was supposed to, when, when this whole thing was supposed to be ready. That's a compromising position for, and a precarious position to put your business in. Um, but like I said, you have the right people in place. You've talked to them to this point, And yeah, you have to, you have to bite the bullet and say, that's on me. If you have done that as a business owner or a manager or whatever, you have to take that and be like, all right, this is how we're going to do this going forward. This, won't, this will not happen again. And don't let it happen again. Simple as that. And that's all I got. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe to the email newsletter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, check us out on the blog. Go to all those things. Also, and also just to catch up on what maybe you have missed, if you're like, well, I don't remember him saying that. There, go, go, go to all those places. And lastly, 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 don't go rogue. See you next time.